Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome back to the basement, Dino Dungeon. Okay, so today we have a couple of new items to unbox. Our Steven Spielberg Jurassic Park set right here that features a new Dilophosaurus, okay? We also have a very cool vehicle from Jurassic Park to open up and to review. We'll be opening five of this captive collection eggs in the hope to find the new metallic figures, okay? We'll take a look at some of the latest figures that we have added to our collection. We have two new minifigures right here, okay? At the same time, we'll do a mini collection video of the Lophosaurus collection, okay? At the same time, we'll do a Hammond collection video as well. Are you guys ready? Let's get right into it. All right, guys, so let's begin, okay? Check out this setup right here. It's looking pretty cool. All right, so let's begin, okay? So let's have a look at this set right here that says Steven Spielberg film Jurassic Park, an adventure 65 million years in the making. So let's open this. All right, let's get the box out. Wow, it looks really cool. So let's have a look at this box, okay? So this is basically created and designed like a clapperboard, you know, which is used to cut scenes in movie. So it looks, looks really good. And it says Hammond Collection and it features a new Dilophosaurus, a Steven Spielberg figure. Of course, it comes with a director's chair and the camera set up right here. If you take a look at the back of the box, it basically says Jurassic Park Row 1 scene 15 f and take six beautiful let's open this and get the figures out all right let's get the figures out i'm not too sure whether we are able to just get it out this way let's see wow and you can see it actually comes with a very beautiful background of the jurassic park scene all right let's get the dilophosaurus out from the box Wow, it's pretty tough. Let's try our best. Okay, there you go. And now the frill. Okay. And now the Steven Spielberg figure. Okay. Director's chair. And the camera. Very nice. All right, guys, let's have a look at this new Dilophosaurus figure. So you can see it actually comes with a stand. So this is basically to simulate that this Dilophosaurus is actually a prop, okay? So we can actually fix this through onto the head, I suppose. Not too sure how I'm gonna do it, but I think we can do it. Okay, so there you go. I have fixed the frill up so you can see this Dilophosaurus is actually looking very, very nice. Highly detailed and the paint scheme is just amazing. So you can even bend the tail, which is really cool. The legs can be moved as well. So Dilophosaurus is known as the Darber Crested Lizard. Not because of this frill right here, but because of this two crest right on top of the head. Okay, it also comes with this very nice Steven Spielberg, which is the director of the movie. So he's wearing jeans and a very beautiful t-shirt that features the different raptors. Very nice. Of course, it comes with this chair. You can actually fit him onto this chair. So this is basically to, you know, simulate he is filming the that scene. Scene 15F. All right. So now it's time for us to move on to the next figure. All right, guys, before we move on to the next figure, I just want to do a quick comparison with the other Hammond Collection Dilophosaurus. I think they are exactly the same. Yeah, which is kind of a, a pity because I thought, you know, they could have given it like a new paint scheme. I think that would be really nice, but apparently they are exactly the same, which is quite a pity, I feel. It's okay, let's move on. All right, next figure, I want to open one of these, okay? I want to open the Captive Collection eggs right here because I feel, you know, we can actually open the vehicle later on. This is going to be exciting. I hope you guys can wish me good luck because I really want to get a new Ankylosaurus. The Ankylosaurus metallic figure. I think that will be really nice. We have, you know, almost every single figure from the entire set. 
but we're still hoping to get the metallic figures. Okay, so this is basically the pack of slime which I'm not going to open because it is very, very sticky. So let's open this. Let's get the items out. Okay, pretty cool. We've got the um, Tyranidon, I suppose. Where is the head? How come the head is not... Oh dear, did I just lose the head of the Tyranidon? Probably. Just give me a second while I search for it in the bin. Oh dear. Hmm. That is very weird guys because I was not able to find the head of the Tyranodon. But it's okay. You know, these two are basically the figures we're trying to land, okay? And Kylosaurus as well as the Dimorphodon. But yep, we've got the Tyranodon without the head. I'll try to find later on. Perhaps it is, you know, on the floor. I'm not too sure. But it's okay, let's open another one up right now. Okay, let's see. So, yep, this is usually the way I open my eggs. I make a slice, you know, on the side of the egg because it's actually much faster than just to peel off the figure. Okay, so this time I'm gonna be really careful. I'm gonna make sure that we don't lose any pieces. So, let's see. Okay, this one seems to be the um, Pachycephalosaurus. Yeah, which is not the one that we are hoping to get, but it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so Pachycephalosaurus, let's pop in the tail. And uh, there you go, we have the Pachycephalosaurus right here, and it comes with two battle scars. Pretty cool, okay, let's put this right here. Okay, next up, let's have a look at these two little keychains. So I found this from an online store. I'm pretty sure it is um, an official product, but it doesn't really look legit, but let's have a look, okay? But it does have, um, you know, the Universal Studios stuff um, at the bottom. So, yep, it comes with a little string. I guess you can use this string to tie it to this figure as well if you want it. But I think I'll go without the little strings. So we have blue right here. You can see this little figure is not very well detailed, but still pretty cool. It comes with a clip on, so you can actually clip this onto your little bag or your, you know, pencil case or something like that. Next, we have a Sticky Moloch. Sticky Moloch is basically known as the River Stix Demon. Okay, it is a herbivore, as you guys can see, plenty of spikes behind um, the head. This spike right here looks way too long. Definitely, you know, it doesn't look accurate to me. All right, now let's move on to the next figure. Okay, before we open the litter box up, let's have a look at some figures that we have just added to our collection recently, okay? Okay, guys, I am not too sure whether you guys have seen this. This is basically the Tyrannosaurus Rex from the T-Rex Ambush set. So it basically features a new color scheme, uh, which I think it's, it's not too bad, but I would definitely hope that it get painted a bit more because the stripes are just from the neck to the front part of the body, which is kind of um, wasted. You know, it will look nicer if it has stripes across the entire body, I, I, I feel, at least to, to me. Okay, but in terms of the articulation, I think they have actually fixed this problem because majority of my figures you know, it doesn't, you know, it was not able to move. The jaw was not able to move. But right now, they seems to have um, fixed the problem, which is fantastic. All right, let's move on and take a look at this one, which is the um, Habitat Defender Triceratops. I would say this is like the best Triceratops figure so far, even better than the Hamlin Collection Triceratops is really huge, as you guys can see, the three horned face. So the Triceratops was actually built like a tank, and it could potentially take down a Tyrannosaurus Rex on its own. Do you guys agree? If you guys agree, let me know down below. I mean, if you don't agree, you can let me know down below as well. Next, let's have a look at this set right here, which is from Mattel's Creation. So it's supposed to feature a new vehicle, I think. I'm not too sure what is the exact name of the vehicle, but let's get it out. 
looks really beautiful. Wow, the packaging seems to be very, you know, pleasant and majestic. Wow, you can see this is basically Dr. Ian Malcolm running away from Rexy. Wow, the box looks fantastic. Let's open this up. You can even find like footprints, beautiful footprints. Let's have a look. How do we actually open this? Ah, oh, there you go. Wow, it comes with postcards. Beautiful. Let's have a look. So this is basically from, you know, the very first Jurassic Park movie. And this is basically um, the lawyer, I think. Yep, the lawyer sitting and, uh, you know, in the toilet, Rexy looking on. And who is this? Um... Can't really, can't really tell. It looks young. It doesn't look like Ian Malcolm. It looks like um, our team, I think. Oh, we have two of this, which is weird. Hmm. Yep, the beautiful postcards. Definitely love it. Okay, so let's move on. Let's have a look at this. Wow. Wow, this looks really good. So it's basically Jeep Wrangler and Dr. Ed Malcolm and it's from Hot Wheels. So I guess I won't I won't be um unboxing this because I think this will look good, you know, when it's being displayed in this box. Looks very nice and you can see the fences being torn down by the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Looks really beautiful. I'm going to put this right back later on. Okay, yep, it definitely looks fantastic. I love this. I love the um, creativity that they have, um, you know, induced into this set. All right, now let's do, take a mini collection video, okay? So let's take a look at some of the Hammond collection carnivores that I really like, okay? We do have the Irritator right here, which is really beautiful. Irritator, okay, which is part of the Spinosaurus family. We also have the Matrier. Canosaurus right over here, which is another very new carnivore. The Ceratosaurus is actually one of the um, earlier versions, the earlier releases. Okay, so now it's time for us to take a look at more eggs. Hopefully, we are able to get the one that we are hoping to get. So let's do this. Okay. You know, there's a possibility that the seller actually took out the metallic figures from the set that he was, you know, selling me because there's actually a code for every single figure. So that's a possibility, but who knows? Okay, let's see. It feels kind of small. Okay, let's open this. I thought I saw like, you know, metallic blue, yep, but it's just blue, or is it Betar? I think this is Betar. Yep, this is baby Betar. So let's have a look. Let's pop in the head. So there you go, we have Betar right here. And this is basically the disc of Baby Beta. Killer rating of only 4, but intelligence of 8. And of course, its intelligence will continue to grow as it grows older. Alright, now let's take a look at this mask right here. Not too sure whether you guys have seen this in my previous review. This is basically the latest Indoraptor Dino Tracker mask that comes with lights and sounds. Let's have a look at this. Okay, let me just switch off the lights right here and you, so that you guys are able to see this spotlight, you know, this laser beam much easily. Very beautiful. You can see the moment I lift up the jaw, this light will basically light up. Beautiful. Okay. So yeah, this is actually a huge improvement as compared to the previous Indoraptor mask, which I'm, gonna which I'm gonna show you guys right now. Okay guys, so have a look at this. So this is basically the previous Indoraptor mask. It is much more simpler. As you guys can see, there's no, you know, sounds or lights. It's just a simple mask. 
In terms of the sculpt, I would say it's more or less the same, except that the new one actually has a dyno tracking gear on the left side of the face. Okay, let's move on to the next figure. Shall we do a very quick Dilophosaurus collection first? Okay, let's do this. So this is basically the latest Dilophosaurus in my collection. It's known as the Fierce Launching Dilophosaurus. Okay, check this out. So it comes with this little mechanism. Okay, I call this the Venom. So this is basically like the Venom that the Dilophosaurus spit out at, you know, at its prey. Okay, let's have a look at this. You press this button right here, and it would basically spit out the Venom at its opponent. Yep, it's pretty cool, I would say. And um, the force is not too strong, so it's definitely pretty safe for, you know, later ones to play with. There's no lights, okay, there's no lights, but let's just try this once more. Let's try to target the Triceratops. Let's do this. Yeah, cool. Very nice. Okay, um, we also have this one which is known as the Rowdy Ross. This is slightly different to the Fierce Launching the Lophosaurus, but it also comes with sounds. Have a look at this. So there's a couple of um, different ways of um, activating this. First one is basically by pressing the button on top of the head. So the Dilophosaurus is basically make some noises and some roars. You can also stroke the underside of the face and it will basically move in a very cute manner. So you can do this again. Yeah, I wonder how they actually did this. I think there's like a sensor below. Very cool, I love this. And um, you can actually switch off the power such that the batteries can last a bit longer. So these two are basically two of the very interesting Dilophosaurus figures in our collection. We also have some vintage collection right here. Okay, this is actually from Jurassic Park. Not too sure how old this figure is. It's probably from 1997. Let's see whether we are able to find the date below the figure. It's right here, but it doesn't say it's, but it doesn't say the date. Yeah, but site B is basically from, you know, uh, Jurassic Park Lost World. Okay, shall we move on to more eggs? We have two more. Let's open the other two. Okay. Okay, guys, please wish me good luck. Let's hope we can get the metallic figure. Okay, it feels kind of small. It doesn't feel like an Ankylosaurus. It does, or not, or does it feel like? A Dimorphodon, so I don't think we've got the metallic figure. Sorry to disappoint you guys again. Oh, we've got. Oh my goodness, what do we? What do we get? We actually got um, I think one of the Atrociraptors, which I think it's tiger. Atrociraptor tiger. Let's pop in the head. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, this is a really nice figure, to be honest. Um, if you take a look at the facts right here, so the killer rating is actually very high. It's 8, and the intelligence is 7. Beautiful one. Okay, so a Atrociraptor Tiger. And let's move on to our last one before we move on to our Hammond Collection figures. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Our last one. Okay, the last one, let's just do the peeling action. Maybe it brings us um, better luck, who knows. But you, you guys can see it's really tough to peel this off. It's really tough. Oh, there you go. Very nice. Okay, the first layer is out. But we still have a second layer for us to, um, you know, peel off. I think we are good. Okay, let's see. Right. I shall not try to feel the figure. Let's just all be surprised by this. Three, two, and one. Nope. We didn't get a metallic figure. We've got a Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus, which is, you know, 
I mean, it's not a bad figure, but we already have plenty of this figure. Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus should have a very high killer rating. Let's have a look. Um, if I'm not wrong, this is actually a killer rating of 9 and intelligence of 6. So you can see its weight is very heavy. 7,484 kilograms, which is roughly about 16,500 pounds. And its height is 18 feet, which is roughly 5.5 meters tall. Yep. Spinosaurus. Awesome. Okay, now let's move on to our Hammond collection. Or well, we can take a look at, you know, five Dilophosaurus before we move on to the Hammond collection, okay? So right here, we have two basic figures. These are actually very old figures. 12-inch basic figures that comes with articulation on the frills, which is quite nice. Okay. This is the other color variation. This was actually the Wave 2 12-inch figure. Okay, so that's two figures. And right here, we have a vintage Jurassic Park figure. Okay, you can actually see it has a button right here. Um, there's another knob, a handle. So the sounds are still working, which is pretty amazing. Awesome stuff. Let's have a look at this. This is another vintage Jurassic Park figure. I'll try to put the frill higher because it's actually super loose. So have a look at this. Uh, yep, it's still roaring. Still roaring, very nice. But the roars you can see, or rather you can hear, it's actually very cute and it sounds very old school, that's for sure. Okay, that's a nice one. Let's have a look at another one before we move on. So this is basically quite similar to the orange version. Sounds are not working anymore. Perhaps we can try to change the batteries later on, but let's see how it goes later on, okay? Very nice. So it's time for us to move on to the Hammond Collection figures, okay? Which we have some right here, but we have more in the display shelf, which I am going to pick all of them up to show you guys. So. Right here, we have the SD. Okay, this is not from the SDCC. This is actually the very first Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. Beautiful figure. It comes with a movable tongue. How amazing is that? Tyrannosaurus Rex is known as the Tyrant Lizard King. Okay, so this was the very first Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. Later on, they actually released a San Diego Comic Con set that comes with, you know, uh, Gennaro, which is the lawyer from Jurassic Park, as well as this repainted Tyrannosaurus Rex. So it features a darker shade of brown for this T-Rex. Alright guys, so let's continue with our Hammond collection. So this is a concavenator. This one right here, which is mine, my first concavenator, it actually has a damaged jaw. It's not able to close as you guys can see. I'm gonna show you guys like the you know the new one which I have unboxed you know which is working fine to do a comparison later on. And this is actually one of the very first one which is a Baryonyx. I love this. I think this is one of the best Baryonyx figures in the entire Jurassic World line. Okay we also have a couple of our um, herbivores right here. This is basically the Charyptosaurus. Beautiful one. Charyptosaurus is known as the Helmet Lizard and this is actually one of the latest herbivores that has been added to the collection. Beautiful figure, beautiful sculpt, beautiful paint scheme as well. You can see plenty of different colors on the body of this. Okay, next we have the Parasaurolophus, first, which I think is another really exquisite and beautiful figure. Okay, you can see the sculpt is amazing. It basically features the Parasaurolophus in its full, full glory. The paint scheme is excellent. The detailing on this figure is beautiful as well. So Parasaurolophus is known as the near crested lizard. Do you guys know what is the use of this apparatus right here? Some people, some paleontologists actually think this is a breathing device that allows it to breathe under the water. Some paleontologists actually think this crest right there, it's able to produce bellows and sounds to attract, 
you know, mates. Who knows? But we'll never know about this. Alright, let's move on to more Dilophosaurus figures, okay? So this one is actually a figure that we have just added not too long ago. It came with a... I can't remember what it came along with. I think it came along with a vehicle, I think. But you can see this figure is actually quite different to the ones that we know. It doesn't have a Venom, okay? The arms are actually way softer than you know, what you can find from the other Attack Pack series. The frills are also more rubbery and soft. This one is way harder. Okay, very nice, but you can see the paint scheme is actually totally different as well. Let's have a look at more Dilophosaurus. We have another vintage one, which I think this one looks really good. It doesn't come with the frill. It looks very beautiful. Um, I'm not too sure what this can do. I think it's able to absorb water. You can see there's actually like a little hole right here. So it can absorb water and it can press the belly. Once you press the belly, it will squirt the water out from its belly. Very cool. Okay. And uh, we also have a couple more of this attack pack Dilophosaurus. Okay, here's another one. And this one right here, you know, is quite a pity. This is actually quite a new one. Um, it came along with a Claire Deering in a story pack, but I've lost the Venom. You know, the Venom that is attached to the mouth, which is quite a pity, yeah. Okay, so now let's continue with our Hammond collection. Alright, so we have two wonderful and fantastic herbivores right here. Triceratops, the three horned face. Good, like a tank. I think it weighed three tons, if I'm not wrong. So it could potentially take down Tyrannosaurus Rex on its own. And if you take a look at this, highly detailed. I love this. Yep. Next, we have the Ankylosaurus, which is a relatively newer release, okay? So you can see this is a, a beautiful and well articulated figure. It has like one, two, three, four, five. Wow, one, let, let's count this again. One, two, three, four. Four, wait, wait a minute. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four points of articulation just on the tail itself. The legs are beautiful, but too bad the toe claws aren't painted. Of course, it comes with a movable jaw, which is beautiful. And Colosaurus is known as the Fused Lizard. I think you guys are more familiar than me because all the bones inside are all fused together, you know, forming a very, very strong protective armor. Okay, now let's take a short break from the Hamlin collection and let's take a look at some of the um, New World Wild Power Props. So right here, um, we have a Tyrannosaurus Rex over here. Um, yep, Tyrannosaurus Rex right here. Um, it basically features a new paint scheme. We also have a Dracorex. Yeah, right here. Dilophosaurus, if I'm not wrong, it's part of the um, Dilophosaurus collection. I brought this to uh, show you guys. Stegosaurus is also one of the latest one. Very adorable. If you push it right down, you're able to see the eyes, you know, changing um, the expression. We have the near crested lizard, Parasaurolophus. This looks a little bit sleepy, as if it is sleeping. And this, it's a new Atrociraptor, I suppose. Or is it a Velociraptor? I think it's a Velociraptor. Nice. Okay, so now let's take a look at some of the new Captive Collection minifigures. So right here, we have an Apatosaurus. This is a new figure. A new species added to um, the collection. We also have this, which is the Atmontosaurus. Looks really beautiful. We have a new Sanoceratops as well. Okay, the head is um kind of loose, so you have to like push it really hard in. Yeah, it's not working very well. This figure of mine. Um, this if I'm not wrong it's the Hararasaurus. I'm not too sure. I always get this to mix up. Oops. And uh, this one should be the Matriarchansaurus. 
Let's take a look at this little leaflet. Maybe we can get some. Yep. So this is actually a Matria Canosaurus, and this is the Hararasaurus. And that's the Edmontosaurus, which we've got it right. Great, great. So these are basically the new figures. Oh dear, all the Dilophosaurus are on the ground. Let's pick them up. Yeah, they're not able to stand very well, as you guys can see. So we also have the um, Pachycephalosaurus. This is basically the, the, the Pteranodon, which we still have the head. So I think the one that we've got did not come with the head or, you know, perhaps I, I, I lost it. I'm not too sure. Oh! Oh dear! The head is right here, guys! Yeah! Oh my goodness! Finally! Pop it right in! There you go! I think many of you guys should have spotted the head right over there. Probably. Okay? Alright, um... What else we've got? Yeah, we've got more Hamlin Collection figures. This is basically the Joe Sternberger. Okay, I need the help of you guys. I can't remember the name. I mean the meaning of the name. Joe Sternberger. If you guys can look it up and uh, help me out, please make a uh, comment down below. Because I've totally forgotten about it. And this is basically Pachycephalosaurus, the thick skull lizard that comes with this thick skull. I think it's at least like 6 inches thick. And we do have a baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. Beautiful one that comes with a restraint to prevent it from biting um, people. And this is the basically the injured leg right here. Okay, a beautiful figure. Let's uh, move on. We have a Velociraptor. This is basically the common Velociraptor that you guys are very familiar with. You also have another one, which I think is a male raptor, if I'm not wrong. And this is another one, the white raptor that came along with uh, Dr. Alan Grant. We have a beautiful juvenile Stegosaurus. I call this the baby Stegosaurus, but it's not exactly a baby. It is a young Stegosaurus. Beautiful one. And we have a Galley Mimers right here. Beautiful one. Okay, I think we are done for the day. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and um, hopefully you guys um, you know, miss my videos. I haven't been uploading for a week because I just underwent an eye surgery. So it has been a tough week for me, a tough past two weeks. You know, I'm still not fully recovered. Hopefully, I'm able to recover, make a full recovery so that I can get back to, um, you know, uploading regularly for you guys. But I'll try my best to be uploading, you know, from now onwards. Um, my condition is stable. I just had, a, a, you know, a laser surgery to fix, you know, an injured eye. Yeah. But I want to tell you guys too many details of that. But hopefully, you know, things will improve. I'm still on, um, you know, the road to recovery. The road to recovery will be long. Hopefully, I don't get more, you know, injuries to my eye. So, I can continue to make videos for you. Yeah, so, thanks for your patience. And, um, yeah, the past one week has been pretty mind-blowing for me. It has been a roller coaster ride. You know, but I'm glad I'm able to, you know, make this video for you right now. But, you know, as I'm making videos, I am... I still do not have my full vision. I'm still getting um, you know, a, a bit of a uh, impaired vision because I, I met with an accident. Yeah, so hopefully I'm able to make full recovery and get back to making videos for you guys, okay? See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.